Farhan and Intisar al Bahadali have built a new life in Madison. Here I found my rights. So the second step is to looking for my dream. They came to the United States four years ago as refugees from Iraq. I feel uh, kind of stable in job, in family, with my family here, with my life here. One of the reasons for that stability, a group of 300 volunteers. I found many people help us, help us here, and help my family, help my kids. Until this time, until this time, especially here from people from Open Doors, they are still, still helping me. Finding a community in a new country can start with a dance or a meal. People get together to uh, just express goodwill and support, and, and um, you know, it's a lovely day to, to get together and, and have a picnic. Ken Vaughn is the co founder of Open Doors, a nonprofit helping people arriving in Madison to settle in. In, the, in. in this day of the backlash against immigrants and refugees, to, uh, to show and express you know, that there are many people in the community who want diversity, want people from other cultures to come here, who welcome them and want to support them. And this support comes in many forms, helping with things like housing, language courses, and transportation. Uh, it's a big deal to arrive in a culture, especially if you don't speak a language. Um, you come in, you have nothing. Um, so they, they need a hand to, to get on their feet. Open Doors قدمت لنا هواي مساعدات ساعدتني بتعلم اللغة الإنجليزية. Intazar's words, which were conveyed to us by her husband, spoke of gratitude toward Open Doors for their help finding friends and resources. Step by step, our relationship became as a friendship, actually. Making a new place feel like home. But when I came here, I found another life, actually. Another life called Wisconsin. Madeline Westberg, WISC News 3.